hey guys and welcome back to my channel welcome back to my life if you're joining us for the first time make yourself at home grab your pen and paper um because it's about to go down <laughs> um today we are gonna be talking about books and quotes that empower that inspire women great okay i'm just gonna pin my comment and then i'm gonna ask uzi to endure to join us I'm so sorry. I forgot to put my earphones on and I'm trying like when I'm I'm like, eh, I forgot something. <laughs> okay. Yes, so when I'm I'm like, eh, I missed something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um so before we start let me just start by saying thank you so much for joining us again this year um last year we had an amazing conversation talking about loving yourself and putting yourself first and today we're talking about something that we both love which is books so we're going to talk about the books and quotes that you feel will inspire and empower women this women's month. So I think before Jings and Kulma, cool, I'm going to allow you to introduce yourself and then we'll just start with the conversation. As I'm to me, I've got to be an introduce. I know. I know. <laughs> It makes me fire with spotlights. Muga mind. Okay. Um Muza Ketelo was tole. Okay, Muza Ketelo Kumet and Sasi was tole. I was about to say, girl, didn't you get married? <laughs> I tend to forget my new surname. Okay, Muza Ketelo was Kumet, originally from PMP, but now residing in Pumalanga. Mm-hmm. I write for fun and I read mm-hmm. also for fun. I'm a high school teacher who uh, who teaches maths and life sciences. I think that's all for now. Great. Cool. That's perfect. That's perfect. Um so my motion is kind of cool. So basically we're doing like a book review. So we're going to discuss you said three books, right? Yeah, um, three. and then we're going to discuss a few quotes um that you feel are important so you can start with your first book um okay. and then we can just continue with the conversation yeah my first book is a book by Ushonda Rhimes mm-hmm. and the, the title of the book is Year of Yes, yes. Ushonda Rhimes if you if you are a person who watches series you know Ushonda Rhimes wrote how together we with meta scandal which is the fixer and great anatomy so oh, really? okay i didn't know that okay yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> so the title of the book is year of yes i'm actually mm-hmm. going to discuss five lessons which i learned from the book lesson okay. number 1 which is two mm-hmm. lessons in one in one in out yeah you get it <laughs> so <Okay. laughs> uh shona i'm actually says it's okay she says the title of the book is year of saying yes so she says say yes to saying no and she says say yes to using your voice there's a title in, there's a bible verse which says ulim is one of the smallest organs in the body that that tongue is one of the smallest organs but it's it has the it's one of the most powerful organs it has the power mm. to build and to destroy yes. what shonda rhimes is saying she's saying it's okay to use your voice say yes to using your voice because i was with ulim lakho lingana yiphi impact empilweni omunye umuntu and she also says the the first thing i said when she says say yes to saying no say she no, says as yes. as women As women we tend to avoid difficult conversations 
se asabu mm. express my feelings it and she encourages women to express their feelings was ukuthi mina i set my boundaries one or two or three are when they giving me set your yes. boundaries as a woman because if you keep silent ucine so affect her when lo kuncipha kancane kancane as a result ucine so ba depressed ube ne anxiety so yes. she says it's okay to say no and while saying no you say no to yourself and you say no to others when she says yes. saying no to yourself khona izinto wake wazenza before lezinto lezo zakufaka endimeni she says mm. avoid ukuthi ubuyele endaweni ekuzuse ubuhlungu say no to yeah. yourself to reprimand the way now we say the way in the lane sure and in the other lesson mm. the other lesson i learned she says say yes to your weight ushonda rhyme was actually someone who who actually judged herself she was overweight so she judged herself in a and all of that so what she did she said yes to her weight by starting by starting eating healthy exercising and as a result she loved herself <clears throat> and she became very confident. Mm. And in the other other lesson she says that there's a, a saying which says that no man is an island. Yes. With that saying Ushonda Ram say says say yes to receiving help. You can't mm. always be a superhero allow others mm. to help you. Because when I learned to lay eggy shoe on his Zulu booty, in the lay was a rubber pan bill. So now we are to tell us who sees the Wabanya band who booze, who told us sees or Lolo sees or Lolo succeeds. Unga fun when you hear the Zenz and listen. Yazus connies in the end was the Zenz, connies in the end was the Zenz. Naka Yes. And oh, they says you know e enye into ngikhumbulayo uma ngikhuluma ngale ngina le ncwadi le ncwadi le someone actually recommended this book what i mm. never say yes to anything mean ngihlezi ngine ngqonde ukuthi ngihlezi ngine ngqonde ukuthi ngiyaphikisa what i should read this book coming to understand ukuthi because ngesikhathi kubumelekile ukuthi uthi yes Oh yes so aku ngahambisana futhi no no njengoba no Shonda Rhimes eh ukuthi it's okay to say it at say, say yes, yes to say yes, to say no yes yes yeah so that's a lot yeah. of things yo okay <laughs> that's a lot of things i love that i think the one thing i'm going to just highlight which i feel is something as about best for us we are always scared and shy to actually openly discuss which is our weight um our body image and how confident are we as women so i love yeah. that she said you said um one of the lessons was saying yes to your weight accept you as you are your body as you are and obviously if kuguti you want to lose weight then take the necessary steps to do that yeah, if you want to build a certain body then take the necessary steps to you know build that particular body that you want um i think that's one of the most sensitive topics that we do not want to discuss with as women what's it ngicathi nice ngicathi lapho uma ukuthi take the initiative to lose your weight ngicathi abantu kumele kuba understand ukuthi akusiyinto ezokwenzeka overnight into ekufanele ulokhu yenzu 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 then next thing is you can so abona my results are coming yes yes yeah. it's like dancing you can't you can't expect to just walk up in the stage and perform you have to yeah. practice get the chore- choreography correct and whatever whatever before you actually start dancing love that mm-hmm. love that um yeah. i think with that said um unless there's something else you would like to add from the book we can move to our next book yeah uh, let's move to our next book Okay, next. <laughs> so <laughs> our next book is a book by Oprah. Mm-hmm. Oprah, Oprah oh, Winfrey. My favorite. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oprah, we all know her as a presenter. She mm. also own one of um in the school let's just la ecole Oprah yeah, Banban school. Yeah. Yes. So who in what ya Oprah? Yona. Okay, I think you'll enjoy this one. It's what I know for sure. <laughs> mm. I'm actually going to quote, not exactly quote, but it's one of the lines in the book. She says, what I know for sure is that it's moments like this that I'll serve her forever. The fact that it happened, the way that it happened, 
is one thing I'll treasure all my life all my life so mm. Oprah in this book she actually teaches us to be grateful for every moment that actually ha- that actually happens in our lives uyakufundisa ukuthi ngisho ngathiwa udlula ebunzimeni obunjani kodwa embrace it because egcineni uzosima usudlulile lapho uma usu when looking back uzosho ukuthi no okay at least i learned one and two and three kulezi into lezi endlule ekuzona ingakho ethi the fact that it happened the way that it happened i'll treasure it forever those lessons you treasure them forever yo and kuleyo ngadleyo since you said opera is your favorite we ask ukuthi opera when growing up <laughs> Mm, going when going up she experienced a lot of hardships right yes, yes. so opera is teaching us as women especially no not exactly as women as everyone to actually use our our hardship as stepping stones to achieve yeah. greatness u to opera the fact that u lonto njile udlule ebunzimeni achaza ukuthi ngekuzobi lutho mm sebenisa lobo mzima lobo as fuel to actually be better in life naye udlulile and do better in life udlulile ebunzimeni khona la uyasho encwadini yakhe ukuthi walo walahlekelwa ingane wazala ingane yashona after few months even after sekwenzeke lokho kodwa uyaqhubeka namanje is one of the most successful people abakhona emhlabeni ngoba akavumela ngokuhlunga adlula kubona ukuthi bumlontunzi bumvimbe empilweni yes yes then nanye ngikhumbula ngale yoncwadi <laughs> you guys should get this books. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I I know I'm definitely getting it because I love Oprah. I'm actually currently reading an Oprah book. Um it's called The Path Made Clear. I'm not going to discuss that book because I'm not done reading it, but I know for a fact that she she advocates for being present in the moment. She advocates for your emotion learning yes. from your past. Um Yeah. Mm-hmm. La- la ukhuluma khona ngicela sikukhuluma sakhuluma la ukhuluma khona ngokuthi she advocates living in the moment in mm. one of the chapters kule ncwadi let's what i know for sure uthi you need to dance with the music enjoy yeah. life as it comes uthi yes. uthi imaka ngifuna i want to directly quote the whole part uthi imaka i wrote it down no stress get your notes to let go yo I'm going to struggle finding the pages. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. The fact that you wrote it down means it was really important. And I know for yeah, sure you living down. in the moment it's it's one of the best things that you you ever do. Um because it makes sure that you don't miss any moment in your life. And you oh, yes, it's everything as it comes. Great. Let's see what I know for sure is that every day brings a chance for you to draw in a, a, a breath, kick off your shoes and dance with every moment. Eh, hey, you see every moment and Jango Bosho embrace the good and the bad, learn yeah. the lessons and don't let your past and don't let the hardships that you faced um define you. They can contribute to you being a better person, but they mustn't define you. Yeah. Yes, lovely. And my yeah. last book. Mhm. It's a must read. And I'm going to read and I'm going to read it. And I'm going to read it. And I'm going to read it and I'm going to read it. It's a book by Usheli Sandberg. Mhm. The title of the book is Lean In. There's gonna mm-hmm. le saying le it's it's sort of a cliche. It's a empowered woman empower woman. Yes. So what Ushali does, she actually unpack that saying. Uthi mm. yena, us as women we have different opinions. Ngeke sihlezi sibona ngese elifanayo every time. Yes. So we mm. must respect and appreciate imbono yabanye abantu. While doing mm-hmm. that, sense njani sisaphothane offer a helping hand kuze sokwazi ukuthi siye phambili. Yes. Uthi yena lento leyo ukuthi ukuthi abantu besifazana abazwani bebodwa should end we should always empower one another ngazi wenze wenze wenza isibonelo ngokuthi ama pets izinto into ebiza emhlabeni kodwa mina mm. manje sithiwa ngoba on my periods now wena unganginiki pet lakho lokugcina mm. wathi leyo nto leyo should kumele kube into esipractice ayo kungabe ukuthi 
noma into into nje eyama pets kuphela esikwazi ukuphana yona sikwazi ukubonisana ngisho ngathiwa into engakanani as women yes. sibamba nesisodo yes. yes. aphinde athi okay in one of the chapters ukhuluma itatli yale chapter it is sit at the table uthi mm. as as umuntu wesifazane you should you should be you should always be confident wazi ukuthi uyafisa ukube wonke amaphupha akho achieve yabo kangangobungashi mm-hmm. ukuthi leli leli tafula leli nabantu besilisa kuphela we should we should challenge e gender inequality sazi ukuthi yeah. we are equal to ini so abantu besilisa mm-hmm. then bese ezo challenge lento leyo ukuthi akai challenge kahle kahle nyapheka uthi kwa lento leyo ejwa lokushiwa bazali ukuthi angeke abantu baze bakuthande bonke awusiyimali angeke futhi yes. baze bakuzonde kubonke awusiku awusiku kufa uthi yena mm-hmm emsebenzini yazi ukuthi mina emsebenzini i have colleagues i do not have friends mhm mawubambe lokho uzobamba ukuthi emsebenzini not everyone likes you and that's okay because ekugcineni mm-hmm. mawo umuntu wesifazana emsebenzini wonke umuntu lindela ukuthi wena uzokwenza iphutha bese mama mawenza kahle emsebenzini bathi vele kufanele ukwenze kahle bathi ngesi zeshayele umlo ufishi izandla ukuthi yabhukude abo usethi mm. yena mm. ingakho kufanele wena wazi ukuthi mina i do not have friends at work nginani ngina colleagues kuphela and ama colleagues ngisebenza nabo ngicina la yes. nyazi ukuthi ngiye baze bangithande bonke lokho ngiyakufaka ekhanda lami mina nginzinte ngizele emsebenzini wami i always strive to excel yes in all that yeah. you do in all that you do sure so sure. i just i love that it's, it's actually i you know i had an interview before this one and we were actually talking about what you just said now which is um take your seat at the table and be confident um the lady i was talking to took it a step further she said apart from just taking the seat on the table understand ukuthi as you there on that table you are actually advocating for women so um there's yeah. this phrase etando opra no no mzamombaza she says i come as one but i stand as 10000 so yes you represent yes so that's that's what she was saying she was saying you are the only woman on that table there's only men but you must understand what you are actually representing the women who are not at the table so you must understand what you are advocating for women empowerment you are you're advocating for gender equality you are advocating for i don't know women equality you know like work equality or whatever it may be and it's exactly what you're saying um empower what did you say that the, the the phrase was empower women. women empower yes. women empower women yes. yes so just because when are you empowered it doesn't mean you cannot go and empower someone else i love it yes. i love it um even myself i've just learned so many things and the literally like running through the books takes me back to so many interviews i've watched um by oprah and other amazing women out there um without wasting more time um let's get to the quotation so okay say, do you have how many of them for me just one ah, minute don't check okay i won't check. i'm not checking my ring light went off so my the light in this room oh, i thought you were checking how many quotes i said i had no i'm not going to check I, I, <laughs> I actually had my diary and I left it at work. Abo manje I have another diary engibhale ke yona mangibu yemsebenzini. So ama quotes engizowasho manje. Ama quotes I I'm not going to directly quote ngizo wakugcina sengwa paraphrase amanye cuz I'm sabukeli. It's okay. Okay. I think a quote of Kala that most people buy as it's angazi ukuthi ngoba ubani owayisho let our deepest fears not that we are inadequate our deepest fears that we are powerful beyond measure do you know it so, no actually i don't but i'm going to go find don't it don't you watch movies mm, no really i how, i read how, i read more than i watch <laughs> how <laughs> even know. in akila and the beat this 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 coat 
It says, our deepest fears, not that we inadequate, our deepest fears that we are powerful beyond measure. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, powerful? Actually, who are you not to be? Yes. So that quote, yes, actually, quote. yeah. Should I explain it? You can. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Leo quotes actually instills the confidence when as a moon when especially when it says actually who are you not to be you can actually yeah. achieve anything as long as you believe what you mean oh one or two or three in a wenza then low one or two or three uzo wenza no miganda as long as when we tem yes then there's another quote in figela man it's it's even similar to the last one go down to the by Berlin. And yes. I can't believe this guy. Little Lona, if you if you have faith as small as a mustard as small as a mustard seed, as a mustard seed. Yes, a mustard seed. Ma 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 was pega. Okay, you can actually Google it. Mustard it's seed very is very tiny. small. Yeah, but if you, if you like have almost faith, like a drop. Mm. Yeah, but if you have faith as a size of a, a mustard seed, you can move mountains. You can actually at achieve anything the mountains yes. in our life in our lives it can be anything even our fears and and all of that so if you have faith if you believe in your in yourself you can actually overcome all your fears in life mm -hmm. definitely yeah. definitely that actually takes me to my the book i'm reading right now the part yeah. made clear by oprah she was actually explaining that um on the chapter i read yesterday that if you've got faith as as small as a mustard seed you can actually move mountains so i, I think i know my next read now <laughs> <laughs> So it's, it's it's amazing. It's it's amazing. And honestly, guys, the mustard seed is so tiny. Yeah, it's actually, so tiny, so tiny. You can move on to the next quote. Um, before you move on, I just want to say to, I think it's low Zwede. I think they're saying the network is bad. Um, don't stress. If you go onto my um profile, there's gonna be a link to my YouTube channel, and um on the channel, I'm gonna have this full interview. So don't stress. We got you. You can move on to your next quote. Okay, my next quote is a Zulu quote. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Don't and I'm saying I follow on Instagram. It's actually one word. Liti kuzo shangana. Oh, <laughs> guys! I feel like sometimes that's all you need to hear. Yeah, kuzo shanga na no man ginza gala. It's in the corner. Kuzo shanga na taco blue. Yes. Kuzo shanga na kona. Yes. Kume le shanga na kata shanga na choice. Kume le shanga nil. Yes. Yes, that takes me to an Oprah quote. That's actually this is like my favorite, one of my favorite Oprah quotes. It says, mm -hmm. "It's literally that." It says, "Everything is always working out for me, regardless." Oh, so guys, I love that quote. Yeah, I love that quote. Yeah, I love that quote. Oh, there's another quote. You can pull up about the Kuluma Nali Mati Lega or Lea to Oprah Corner. If cook, I'm a I'm a hardships. I cross even to say as fuel. The quote is it. I think I learned. I'm going to find out now. Back in high school, it use the negative, the negative things people have said to you and about you to lay a firm foundation for your future. So it basically says. Use zonkis in days in Babanda Bazi Shilo, Nabazin de Kuwe, Ugusi, we seven to say as if you were, but prove it wrong. Yes. Okay. As much as me advocate, Ugusu Munk ends in the way to prove a bantu wrong, got that. Well, my cases. Come on, my cases, Gusu, which went in to Mobawa as Ugusi, if you prove a wrong, Lababas name is in Pumele, and make two names of yes. So yes. love we as um, you always strive to achieve your best because the words we are familiar with, but when you are familiar with, then you are also familiar. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Love it, love it. Um, do you have any other one for me? Send me a call. Go, Limazi. No, it's okay. It's okay. 
<laughs> it's okay. What you can do for me is muscle figures of MD. You can just take a picture and I'll upload them on my on my on my Instagram for everyone to have a look. Um, okay. Because I know for a fact that if we go to this one or two that you forgot, um, you wrote it down because it was important and it was something that you felt was important. I actually wrote ten sure. down. And sure, I said I was going to speak about eight out of those ten. Mm. And no, I only no spoke problem. about four, four, three. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't stress. Don't stress. Yeah. Um, guys, if you've got any questions, um, so I don't think we've got questions. We've just got some nice comments. Thank you so much, guys. For oh, there's another thing I'm remind. I'm remembering <laughs> now. Mm-hmm. Uh, Guilin in the last book that I discussed. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, um, oh, Shelley. As women, we should try to balance in pillows. Can be three three people Abe against Lisa Uti futi akazi kutusuma mama uti wena sefane le majungu abisa inaga unga abisa fokasa kwe kerea ya unga abisa fokasa kwa dreams ako you can still yeah. achieve everything yishu nga tuusuma mama yes love it and I think that's one of the things that um that pull down a lot of females um you find that you started up in your tw- in your early 20s you start in your career you're building a career and then you get married and then when I'm Antoine, and then people just expect you to just be the wife and the mother and they want you to forget about your career um i'm not saying we must be superwoman you know um i think i was having this conversation it was in the interview i had about motherhood you would see we still want to be human we still want our partners to help us but it's exactly what you're saying we can be more than one person and we can still excel at being that more than one person yeah but ma mo so ti khona la othi khona ku ku interview yakho nani ushu ukuthi akufanele ube superhero yeah but ukuthi there's a link between lezi ncwadi lezi zontathu omunye uthi wena ezomuntu Oh, I think we're losing her there. Uh, I don't know if it's in my connection. Okay, we're going to try and see if we can get her back on. Um... Just a few minutes for me, guys. Thank you so much for everyone who joined in tonight. Um, okay, let's have her back. There you go. Welcome back. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. I think there's something wrong with the connection there. Excuse. Okay, got the touch. Which there's a link between les and what les. Cause Gwilin in U Shelley Uti as a woman, you can be three people in one. Hmm. Ushonda rhymes ngala Uti ena. Okay, so I understand. I got show ena exactly Uti. I understand Uti. We can be three people in one. Kota Uti ena say yes to receiving help. No mungu mm. ba u three people in one kote aya zuguti u sizo inzinza nikuneni u salting. Yes, yes. And finally u bumele u tabantu inzinza ni back sizes. Back sizes, yes, yes. Yeah. Be- because I think at the end of the day, you want to be the best version of yourself in everything oyenza. So if you are a mom, you want to be the best mom. If you are a wife, you want to be the best wife. If you are a friend, you want to be the best friend. If you are like yourself, you're a teacher, you want to be the best teacher. So 
Mm-hmm. Having light pap moments. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's that, Wuti. And I think it goes down, it goes, for me, that goes back to that thing, Oprah, that she discusses about being present. So if I'm, mm-hmm. for example, I'm, I'm doing this interview now, I want to be present in this very moment and be here. So if I'm at work, I want to be at work. If I'm having lunch with a friend, I want to be the best version of myself in that particular sphere. So obviously for me to be able to do that, I must be willing to allow people to help me. Help me. So that I There's don't another quote. Yes. There's another quote. Most of be a best version of yourself. There's a quote, Eti, know who you are and whose you are. Sure. Okay. Explain that to me. Leo quote Leo. Okay, for me, Minanja. For instance, Minangi Nazareta. Me. Leo and Dolly. If I know who I am and whose I am, go back to Nazareth. I'm going to join a new Nazareth. Nazareth. Minangi Akorele Sabaten. Ge Sabaten ngi tinde shisai. Ge Sabaten mna Akorele ngi sondwe. Masenga join a new Nazareth. Nazareth. Akfanya lugo tuge guaz. Uguaz we lugo tumsho tenge galu lugo taya sambi sota. Ge lugo tuwe na lugo. Filing zaz lugo tuwe na lugo. Lapo nyazi kuthi akulula ukuthi umuntu angikhiphe endleleni yami. Mangizazi ukuthi mina ngikuze khethele waka Sitholi mina u1 no2 no3 ngiyakholelwa kuwona. Kubalula ukuthi nami ngisetha ama boundaries um because mm. I know who I am and who I am. Yes. 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 Definitely. Definitely. Um and then there's another quote for saying fike layo. Ah yona I was watching e opera show opera was speaking yeah. and in tetwa yeah. lwenza kakhulu ukuthi nina abantu besifazana ukuthi ma ubone umuntu ugxeke ugxeke into oyibona again mm yabo ukuthi ngizwe thayi bo unjani mihlabe yabona isiphongo hayi mbona isiphongo ngathi sebathana athi kwi joke kodwa kwesinye isikhathi komunye umuntu ngekufike ehlala ezi joke wathi u opera ma wathi it's a three second rule rule but mm. if you want to kufanele unga comment ngento umuntu angekaza kwazi kuyishintsha within 3 seconds mm. for instance ngingakhuluma ngithi i hairstyle yakho i hairstyle yakho ngiyazi u hairstyle yakho ungaqaqa la ubophe khona ngani within 3 seconds yes. kodwa ngengikwazi ukucomplain ukucomplain nge physical feature yakho cuz yona indlela odalwe ngayo ayikho into ngayo into ngayenza nawe so uthi yena you shouldn't complain or oh, you shouldn't comment ngente umuntu angekaza ishintsha within 3 seconds mele wenze show ukuthi lapho you keep your opinions to yourself yes i love that mm. i love that and i think it that actually reminds me of things like um the commentary we get from our communities because of the way we look because of the way we dress because of the way we speak and because of the way we carry out ourselves and because of the way we do things and i think it also goes back to what you're saying about the 3 second rule ukuthi if you can't um if the person can't change that thing in 3 seconds don't comment about it so that's like our responsibility but i think also again it goes back to what you said about knowing yourself so if you know yourself and if you know your standards and your ground and whatever you will not be moved by what i'm saying Bravo. yeah khona nala othi khona kade uthi ma ma uthi umphakathi ngisho uwodwa nawe uyasijat khona into ekufanele si 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 jwayele ezabantu as much as kunzima ukuphila ngayo kodwa kufanele si jwayele ukuthi abantu bohle zibekhuluma ngisho ngenza kahle ngisho ngenza kahle bohle zibekhuluma so most of the abantu you most likely ngekuzuphumelela cuz ngisho ngenza kahle kothi wayi u1 no2 no3 mangathenga imoto manje kothi uthenga imoto kodwa u1 no2 no3 akawenzile abantu abalazi phaketela mabazi ukuthi imoto ngithi ngakanani yabo exactly so nje kuphika nabantu ayi thiwa phila phila nabo ungaphiki nabo basho basho njalo eh Impact <laughs> team. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Um, I think we all done for today, guys. I don't see any questions. Um, I'm just seeing amazing comments. Um, 
we thank you guys so much for joining us. It's been an amazing session. Um, I think it's mainly because you love reading. I love reading. And I didn't realize we both like Oprah. So <laughs> that's something to talk about. <laughs> oh, we have a lot in common, yes. Uh, we do. We do. Um, I just hope you guys go get the books if you haven't read them. Um, go get the books. Read um, if you don't like reading, get the audio version of it, um, because as Uze has shared, there's like so many lessons you can learn from the books. Um, and some of them, um, obviously, she's shared with you, but that's from her reading experience. So you could find a when when you're reading the book, you learn something else that she didn't mention today. Um, guys, um, they're asking the title of the first book. So she shared, you shared three the first books, then? Okay, the first book is um, it's The Year of Yes Year of by yes, Shonda Rhimes. Mm -hmm. Okay, should I type yeah. it? No, type it. I'll add it on my... No, don't worry. I'll add it okay. on my YouTube, yeah. So it's okay. The Year of the, Yes It's The Year of Shonda Yes Rimes. by Shonda Rhimes. The second mm -hmm. book is What I Know For Sure by Oprah Winfrey. And then the mm -hmm. last book is Lean In by Shelley... Shelley who went? Abona is in Kotlu. Shelly, send her back. It's okay. I was in Kusum Kun Misega Kulseng is in Kotla. I know. I know. Um, but yeah, guys, yeah. Um, the video will not be up on my Instagram page. Um, it's going to be up on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed, go and do that. The link is on my Instagram page. The full video, as I said, is going to be on my YouTube channel. I'm going to add all the three books that she shared on the channel. And I'm also going to add the quotations um, that she shared. So there's someone who's asking us if we've read, read the book Don't, Don't Settle by Sarah no. Jakes Roberts. I haven't, but I saw that she released the book and I'm actually going to go get it. Um, I know. I'm actually going to get it now. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Um, and thank you so much, guys, for tuning you. in. Yeah, it's been, it's been an amazing conversation. Um, uh, your comment, the comments have been amazing. Um, thank you so much, guys. Uh, thank you. Thank, thank you so you. much, Z. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>